want to just hold this paddle up here. Morning time on Kearney Lake. Mark DeYoung, after taking a year off, is back on the water. His discipline, the K1-200. It's all about power, speed, and of course time. He trains hours every day for a race that lasts just 34 seconds, and races are won and lost by thousands of a second. At this point, I'm trying to shave down thousands of a second every day. Uh, so I think as athletes, we sort of have an obsession with time. Which brings me to his hobby. When he's not shaving milliseconds off his race times, he's here at Eureka Tech in Lower Sackville, building watches. Yeah, so I have to fit that little guy on What's here. What's the size of that? Uh, 0.2 millimeters. Carefully placing the minuscule second hand to the watch face. In sport, I've been told I need to like meditate to clear my mind and you know get used to you know, the I don't know getting better performance out of that. So this is kind of like meditation, but it actually you know produces something. How he got into watchmaking is more than his fascination about time. While training takes up a lot of time, he found he did have free time that he didn't want to waste. I, I just thought to myself, I can't be watching Netflix in my time off. Time is precious, and what am I going to do with it? So it just sort of started as a project that I wanted to spend better quality time outside of training doing. Learning to become a watchmaker takes time. He started with the design and building a prototype. In the same way that I, I developed myself as an athlete, I sort of developed myself as a watchmaker. With his De Young brand, he's trying to create a piece that stands the test of time. I like the idea of being able to pass down a watch through generations. I'm just going to take it down to 200 meters. He pressure tests each piece to make sure it's waterproof. Put that in the water. Then Mohammed Isa laser etches the Canadian flag and every watch is numbered. He might not ever be able to compete with the big global brands like Rolex or Timex, but that was never the point. His journey is all about time well spent. Colleen Jones, CBC News, Halifax. Cool looking watch. I had no idea he had other talents. Many talents. Yeah.